channel it is now boxing day um i have got my mum coming back later so i thought i would make some scones because we i'm going to do like a buffet so the reason that i thought scones is because i've got two potted creams to use up so i'm going to make cherry scones 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 from this marks and spencer's home baking book uh i'll tell you what you need so it's six tablespoons of butter i'm gonna double check and see what that is in grams i'm just gonna weigh it then so it's six tablespoons of butter eight ounces of self-raising flour or 20 225 grams 15 grams or half an ounce of caster sugar pinch of salt one and a half ounces or 40 grams of glacier cherries chopped 40 grams, one and a half ounces of sultanas, one egg beaten, 50 ml or two fluid ounces of milk, and then it just says plain flour to dust. So I'm going to make them, it says it makes eight. I'm going to make them, see how many I make, and then I will, I've got my other phone charging, so I will show you how you can put into the app a recipe to get all the calories that you need per item so yeah i shall show you now what i'm going to do to make these right what you need to do to start with is sift the flour into a bowl so it is eight ounces 225 grams of self-raising flour so i'll just set my scales grams so I want 225 grams mm. dead on Then you add the sugar and salt. So that is the flour. So sugar, caster sugar, is 15 grams or half an ounce. dead on so I can work it out right. Right, take the out. Right, that's dead on 15. So that goes in. It's actually not a lot of sugar which is is good. It's not full of sugar then. So that's sugar and then it says a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna grind. I've got the lid on this so I'm just gonna grind into the lid and take the lid off. Pinch of salt, so put that in. Right, so then you add the butter and then rub it in with your fingers. So it's six tablespoons of butter, and I googled it, and butter is like 17 grams for a tablespoon. So I'm going to do 102 grams of butter grams of butter. I'm just going to chop it up a bit. 
I did wash my hands before I turned the power on. So I will put that in there. And then you've got to put this into breadcrumbs and I'm going to take my rings off for this. Otherwise, I will end up with dough in my rings. So you do this now until it resembles breadcrumbs. into the breadcrumb for like consistency I'm gonna go and wash my hands and then do the um, the next step right so now we need to add in the sultanas and the cherries so I'm going to add in 40 grams of sultanas cherries it is also 40 grams these need to be chopped so I will weigh them out and see just you get what you get two four you get six and a half cherries for 40 grams so I'm just going to chop these into smaller pieces These are lovely and sticky. Yuck. This is a different recipe I followed to last time I made scones because the last time they didn't have sugar, they just had icing sugar. I'm not sure what I've done with a book. Right, so that is the cherries. Just wipe my hands because they're sticky. So, yeah, mix, stir in the cherries and the sultanas. Then you add the egg. And the egg is to be beaten. So I'll just crack an egg into here. Like so. And just get that egg into there and then the milk these scales weigh out mils and grams and ounces which is good so right so we need 50 ml of milk and then it says to reserve a tablespoon for glazing Fifty 
50 ml of milk. Right, so I'll pour that in there, bar a tiny bit. Leave that for glazing. And then you have to make this into a dough. Start off with a fork. is your scondo. Now it says to use um, flour for dusting. I'm actually going to weigh the flour I use because obviously that's going to be hidden hidden calories then if you don't count the flour. I'm just going to put a bit of flour in there. That should be plenty, 40 grams. Right, so I will put some of that on the table. And then put the dough out and I have a rolling pin I probably won't use all 40 grams of this so I'll re-weigh what's left and then just take it off so I need to make this then into it says eight <clears throat> it says eight scones so we'll see how many we get I don't want them too thin. Yeah. Mm, that's about right. Thickness. I'll go with there. there. I've got cutters. What should we go with? That's the smallest one I've got. Right. Let's see how we're gonna get. So there we are. That's one, two, <clears throat> three. Four, five, <clears throat> then I will just Seven. Might get nine. Well, there's my eight. Nine, 
And I'll just cook that bit. The kids will uh, eat that. But I'm going to count it as nine. So there they are. So I'm just going to now get the tray ready. All right, so I weighed out 40 grams of flour just so I could calculate calorie wise. There's over half of it left. So I'm just going to say, like, say, add on 15 calories worth of plain flour. Because it says to, um, although I have yourself raising flour in the recipe, it says to dust some of plain flour. So that's plain flour in there. All right, it says to um, grease a tin, but I'm not going to put any grease on it. I'm just going to use parchment paper. And then pop them straight on. Like so. And then there's that spare bit I just pop on there. And then with the leftover milk, just give them all a brush. For the oven so the oven's been on and we're going to pop these in and we will be able to have fresh scones with clotted cream and jam later still within my allowance so i shall catch up with you when these are out of the oven i forgot to say i've got put the scones in the oven and then um, on 200 and eight to ten minutes they're going to be on there so while the oven is on, I have just measured out 28 grams of Paxo stuffing and mix it with water. And I've just spread it onto a piece of greaseproof paper, which I'm putting in the oven. And this will be in our buffet tonight because I'm going to make some turkey. I've got some part baked rolls to cook. So I'm going to do turkey stuffing and cranberry rolls. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop that in the oven while the oven's on. These are now out of the oven. They smell absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna put them onto a wire rack to cool and they will be part of our buffet later. So I shall let you know um, what they work out calorie wise once I have put all the ingredients in. Bye guys. So while my scones are cooling, I am gonna peel this bad boy, it's a pomelo. And I've shown you before, it's got a massive thick skin, so it'll probably take me about 10 hours to peel it. But I am going to peel that then and have some of that for my lunch. I haven't had any breakfast today, guys, because I didn't feel hungry from what I'd eaten yesterday. And I don't want to waste any calories because I want them for later. So yeah, I'm going to have some pomelo once I've got it peeled. I'm going to have some of the pomelo that I've peeled. I've got 351 grams, which is 109 calories. And I'm also having this protein bar, which is 220 calories. It is caramel pretzel. I've had this one before and it is absolutely delicious. And I've got over 1700 calories left to use on my um, buffet later. My husband and Dexter have taste tested one of the scones already and they said that they taste delicious. I still haven't worked out the calories in those yet, so I will do that as soon as my other phone is charged. But yeah, I'm going to have that now, so I shall catch you in a bit. Right, I'm just going to work out the calories in the scones that I have made. So all I'm going to do is scan the amounts of food just quickly because I've got... Um, quite a bit to do so I'm just going to do it this way so I'm just going to scan each food and when you scan it it comes up with a picture of the food and then you can do like 100 grams and if you tap on that 
gives you different options of the 100 grams, how many you want. I don't want that, so get rid of it now. So um, I'm going to put in the specific, specific weight, which was 102 grams. Right, so it's 758 calories for the butter. So I'm just going to write that down a minute. 750. No, it was 759. Need my glasses on for the butter. Then um, it was 225 grams of self-raising flour. So I'm just going to scan the flour. Again, you cut, you get the picture of the flour, and I'm going to put in the specific weight, which was 225 grams. So it was 783 calories for the flour. And then I did caster sugar. I haven't got the caster sugar on me. So I'm just going to put in caster sugar in the search bar. Caster sugar, and it was the silver spoon one there, so I'm just going to select that. And caster sugar was 15 grams, so I'm just going to put in the specific weight, 15 grams. So it was 60 calories for the sugar. Pinch of salt. We don't count salt and then one and a half ounces of glacier cherries or what was it one and a half ounces or 40 grams so i'm just going to scan the barcode on the cherries put in the specific amount there which was 40 grams done and it's 128 calories for the cherries. Um, what next? Sultanas. So it's 40 grams of sultanas. So again, I'm just going to scan them. And so you get the picture of what they are. And then put the weight in. Done. And it's 136. And then one egg, obviously I haven't got an egg to scan on the packet or anything. So I would just write in there, egg and search, and it comes up with a load of different eggs. So you just find the one you want. Mine was a whole raw egg and it was a large one that I had. So you would click on large and it's one of them. And that one large egg is 76 calories. And then 50 uh, ml of milk. I haven't got milk on me here. So I'm just going to put in semi skimmed milk. And then specific amount, which was 50. Change that to mil. So you can have. Um, grams, ounces, mils, etc. And I did mil and it was 50. So that was 23 calories for that. I also used um, some plain flour for dusting. So I'm gonna put plain flour. Actually, I don't need to put plain flour. I've got a plain flour here to scan. Um, Right, scan that. Right, I weighed out 40 grams, but I only used, only, only used, well, I used less than half, so I'm going to put 15 grams in there, which is 57 calories. Right, so that is all of the calories in my. <sighs> But, uh, right, I got find. I don't use this phone very often. There's a calculator on it. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Calories. 
calculator. So fifty seven, five nine, seven, eight, three, sixty, hundred and twenty eight, hundred and thirty six, seventy six, twenty three. So two thousand and twenty two calories for my batch of scones. So I'm going to divide that by nine. So each scone is 224 point whatever, but there was a knob of um, scone left over. So I'm going to go with 224. So 224 for a scone. And that's before I've put um, any jam or cream on them. There is, um, you can obviously work it out if you have more time I'm trying to sort a buffet out now for everyone's tea so I can't I'm not doing it at the minute but if you go on and like um, create a recipe which you would just go into my meals and then you can where is it I'm trying to look yeah so along the top then you can create all those so you can work it out that way but yeah, that's basically it. And I've got to say, I absolutely love this app. So easy to use. Log everything. Tells you um, what your goal is and how many you've got left and all that. Yeah. So that is my scone. So 224 calories I'm going to go with. They are coming in a bit under than that, I think. But I'd rather overestimate it and underestimated so 224 i'm gonna go and sort out all the food now and i will show you uh, what we're having for our tea Hi guys. so i've just done a small buffet for us for our tea um this is a tesco's brie and cranberry wreath i've already cut out two pieces which are mine just got some cheese some party snacks i'm not having any of those mince pies and cakes Pringles and crackers, pork pie with cranberries, the scones I made earlier, some salted caramel and chocolate tarts, there's some couscous, and the kids wanted salami. I have actually made everybody an individual roll as well because they all wanted something different in them. And we've got some no added sugar pop. So I shall show you what I'm having and what the calories are in mine. So this is what I have for my dinner. I have waited all day for this. So I have got a roll, which has got turkey, cranberry, stuffing and brie in it. The roll is 146 calories. The turkey is 86. The stuffing is 22. The cranberry sauce is 30. The brie is 59. And that is the roll. I have got some Tesco's, the garland, brie and cranberry garland. And that's two pieces of it that work out at 292. I have got my scone there, which I made earlier. So the scone's 224, the jam is 17 and the cream is 129. I've got some peanuts for 191. I've got some Tesco Finest Couscous for 91 calories. I didn't fancy Pringles, so I've got some Snack Right Hula Hoops, which are 124. I've got a Tesco Salted Caramel Tart for 133. I've also got some cheese that I've added on with cranberries, which is 110. And I've got a can of Diet Lemonade for 13. Now that plate there just shows you how dangerous buffets can be because that plate there works out at 1,667 calories. That's including the lemonade. I've still got 75 calories left, which I'm not going to use, but I'm having this now all within my range. So I'm not going over and I've waited for this, so I'm gonna really enjoy it. All the rest of the food that's left isn't going to bother me at all. 
that will get packed away shortly all the kids will eat some of it yeah so that is mine so that is me done for the day guys i hope you've enjoyed watching it thanks as always for your support and i shall catch you tomorrow for another one bye guys <laughs>